Hi, Taurus. This is Aqua Moonlight. Thank you so much for stopping by, my fellow Taurans. So we're going to go ahead and see here, what is the spring 2021 forecast for you? So we're going to look at what is coming in for you, Taurus. What is on the horizon for you? So this is just going to be a general forecast for you for the spring months. And even if you're in a different part of the world, it is still going to be for the next few months or so for the spring months here where I am. So let's go ahead and see what's coming in for you, Taurus. So of course, this is very general. It is not going to be for all of you. So just take what feels like it's right for you. Take what feels like it resonates with you and feel free to get rid of the rest. All right, so let's go ahead and see here what's coming in for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising. You can also take a look at your North Node and your Jupiter as well, because that can point to the direction that you are heading here. All right, so let's try to get some predictions here. Let's try to get some incoming energy, what you can expect here. So when I was meditating before I... Um, you know, did the reading here before I started the reading, I saw a vision of a lantern and it was kind of like walking through um, sort of like a winding road with, with um, stepping stones. So I feel like there's going to be an illumination for you too. I did hear discerning as well. So I feel like some of you are going to have to, it's like you're going to be shown the way. And I feel for some, you are going to be shown the way by somebody else, by it could be a mentor, it could be a friend, it could be a lover for some of you. Um, and for others of you, this is just spirit's way of, of, of trying to guide you on the right path. And this could require you to have to discern or come to an illumination of something. So let's see. So what messages do we have for Taurus spring 2021? What is coming in for Taurus? What is the predictions for Taurus this spring? Spirit, what messages do we have for Taurus? Wow, that is really beautiful. We have the healing light and we have peace. So this is a really beautiful energy. A lot of you, when you uh, move into the spring here, and this could be the lantern I was uh, visualizing earlier too, I feel like it is spirit's way of telling you here that you are being healed at the moment. You are being guided. And this feels really, really calming. It feels really beautiful. So you're moving towards a place of peace is where you're moving, Taurus, in the next few months. And I feel with this here, this is a, an intention card too, number two. So this is about setting your intention as well for, to find peace in your life. I'm getting for some of you, we have these beautiful swans here too. This is about making sure that you are only allowing things into your life that feel peaceful, that feel harmonious. And I think that's part of it too, is having to go down the right path. It's like with that lantern, you have to be guided towards the right path. You have to follow the path where the light is, is pulling you. And so if something feels like it's not the path for you, then that's way that's spirit's way of telling you here. They're giving you the opportunity to heal. They're giving you the guidance right now. At the bottom, we do have a consciousness of lack here and we have dark thoughts in reverse. So I feel like some of you are moving past any blocks and that's what I feel as well is that you have to kind of um, it's sort of like if you're in a dark room or something is dark and then you have the light that's, sh that's showing you the way, which is exactly the lantern too. So you're being given this opportunity to pull yourself out of any, um, it could be darkness. It could be just not getting to where you want to be. Some of you have been trying to manifest or you've been trying to have a new beginning and maybe it has not happened yet for you. And I feel that this is going to be a time to find that peace because um, you can only really manifest from a place of you feeling peaceful from within or it's, you know, it's better to manifest from that place. And I'm, I'm noticing at the bottom here, we have inner calm and balance. So another card about peace and calm. 
this green color here too. So I think that a lot of you are just going to be at the very least moving into a place of feeling at home within you, at peace within yourself, able to feel, you know, love for yourself. And then also just in a good place to proceed within your life in a good place to um, move forward. Let's see what else we have going on for you, Taurus, in the spring. What's coming in for you? Finding solutions. A lot of you are going to be finding solutions to the things that you have had a hard time finding. Um, it could be emotional. It could be within relationships. There's something about solutions here. So what is coming in for Taurus in the spring? What is ahead for you? What's the forecast for Taurus? We have Canyon, deep perspective. We have here retrograde delays and reflection and we have buttercup sweet surrender and we do have here at the bottom yeah it's like you've been moving through this place we have smoke ignorance and mystery and we have ego so it's exactly like i mentioned too the darkness is being illuminated for you so i, I will say that i feel some of you are going to have to take a very deep approach to something right now it's kind of like I'm kind of getting like a cave energy, like you're being, um, I don't want to say you're going to be, you know, put in a cave, but I feel like you're going to be put in this position where you are having to kind of go into a deep, reflective, contemplative mode. And some of you, you're going to be at different places. You might be coming out of this right now and others of you might be going into this for a little bit of time. It's also like the spring too. I'm getting a bear here. So it's like hibernation coming out of hibernation. And I feel though, we have to really go deep here with the smoke and the ignorance and mystery and the ego shadow work. What is causing us to feel clouded? What is causing us to feel that we are maybe not seeing the light? And this is going to be a really big lesson for you, um, Taurus, is what I'm getting. But you're going to illuminate this. You're going to come out of this here. Sweet surrender. There's something very surrendery about this peace card. It's like you're going to be feeling that you're able to let go. You're able to be free. But it's more than just freedom. It's, it's calm. It's tranquil. It's inner balance, inner security. So what's coming in for you, Taurus, is going to be essentially inner harmony. And because of that, I feel like you're going to be able to, you know, move forward from that point and to manifest, but take a deeper perspective here in the time that you have. If you're, if you're being pushed to spend time alone, or if you're going through a process or will go through a process of having to just reflect of maybe things coming up for you, spirit is with you here. Spirit is giving you this crystal ball or this healing orb of light to guide you in the right direction. And so just know that you are going to kind of illuminate the dark spots and it's going to be maybe painful for some of you. It might be painful, but you're going to come out a much stronger and much more resilient person here moving forward is what I feel. So the spring is all going to be about a time for you to heal is what I'm getting here so far and to find your inner tranquility see what else and I don't know if there's any retrograde um, I don't know if we're going to Mercury retrograde or there could be some planets in retrograde in um, in the spring I'm not sure you'll have to let me know I'm not a I'm not really good at astrology but that could be a time to reflect if there is a important retrograde coming up so Taurus what is coming in for you in the spring so 
do we have for Taurus? We have your intuition is precisely accurate. So I think this is part of it too. Some of you are going to be receiving a illumination that's going to give you the answer. So this could be a specific thing for you. Maybe you have um, some form of intuitive knowing about something in your life and your intuition is on point, okay? Because I feel like you're being given the, the light through the smoke here. We have here, let go of the outcome. We have maybe, but something is still missing. And then we have a new love is coming in for you. So I think some of you with this here, let go of the outcome, something is still missing. This is a part of it too. I feel like you're going through or you're going to be going through a bit more of this um, reflection or this delay because something that you're wanting, it could be something specific. It could be something that in love or otherwise, there's something about this energy to where you're being, I think I said, just said this, but it's like you're kind of being forced to, to, to rest for a little bit. And it's because of the healing that's taking place. It's because of what you are having to heal from within to find that peace, to find that sense of um, inner balance. And something about it needs to be clarified before the next chapter in your life is what I'm getting. So you need to find peace with something. You need to find clarity with something. And that could be on a very personal level for you. So try to let go of the outcome. Try to let go of, of, of defining it or of wanting to... Some of you may have been trying too hard for something with the shadow work and the smoke here. Maybe you were trying to push for something or you were trying to cloud your own mind. Um, like I'm getting some of you have... Um, you yourself have kind of put yourself in that place in the past to where you have actually manifested your own worries, your own fears, and they have come to come to um, uh, to reality. And so there's a need to cleanse the mind, cleanse the soul here. What's going on for Taurus or what's coming in for Taurus in the spring? Any outcome here exactly the answers that you need are coming so for sure there's going to be an answer to your problem Taurus there's going to be something that's going to give you what you've been looking for what have you been searching for what is this for you you're going to find the answer and spirit's going to help you to find this answer so try to let go of the outcome because whatever it is it is going to happen but I'm just again I'm getting the same message here just to repeat that I feel you have to go through maybe a bit of a tough lesson before you get that answer. And sometimes we have to go through um, the, the, the darkness or we have to go through this blind spot because we are not meant to know the outcome at the moment or we need to still master something. And for you, I feel like mastering this has to do with your sense of, um, of um, inner peace of inner just being at peace with where you are at this current time or on your journey we have balance spirituality and practicality and we have your dreams need a practical plan so we have the word practical twice we have pisces and we have taurus um very different energies i feel like some of you need to you're going to be having um a balance between the like the 3d and the 5d the spiritual and the um and the and the physical so try to to um there's something about you moving through a place of um what's the word i'm looking for of outlining your goals here let's see what else we have Taurus, what's coming in for Taurus in spring? 
What is the forecast for Taurus in the spring? What's coming in for you, Taurus? Exactly not the right time. Something about what you're going through is not the right time. And I think, you know, I had already kind of picked that up here with the smoke and with the ego. The What else do we have? Something about not the right time. The, um, the answers that you need are coming. Reflect, delay, let go of the outcome. So it's not the right time for something right now. So if you're trying, if you're wanting something to manifest in the spring, it's not that you're not going to have it because I feel like you are going to have um, a very healing time in your life and you will find the answer to your problem but whatever the outcome is so for example if you're trying to maybe it's a new job that you're trying to push for or maybe you want to come together with somebody or maybe you want to um, just achieve something spirit's telling you it's not the right time because the answer that you need is not here yet and you have to find inner peace you have to find inner harmony and you have to find security within yourself first. And spirit's protecting you from something. Not for a bad reason. Not because what you want is bad. But because you're meant to go through more healing at the moment. Anything else for Taurus? What's coming in for you in the spring? What is the forecast for Taurus? It's manifesting for you. Oops. We have be assertive. What's coming in for Taurus? Yes, your desire is within reach. Have faith as everything is working in your favor. Yes, so everything is working in your favor. You have to have faith here. It may require you to be assertive here, but I think for, for most of you, the assertiveness, let's actually go into the tarot. Um, the assertiveness is coming from more of a place of you knowing what you want moving forward. And that's what I feel you're going to be taking some time to discern. It's all about the inner flow for you in the spring. So the moon, connecting with the moon could be very healing, very important for you. I'm getting a caterpillar here. So the caterpillar is, you know, right before you emerge. So some of you are going to be in this sort of caterpillar stage for a little bit longer. But when you do emerge, it's going to be, it's going to be really, really good. What's coming in for Taurus in the spring? What is the forecast for Taurus? Spring. Yes, very clear. We have perspective, the hanged man. So this is pretty much confirming here. The hanged man is about something that is having a bit of a delay, a reflection, not the right time. Um, we have here the king of wands. We have the two of swords and we have the two of wands in reverse. So there is kind of like a pulling in two directions. You know, the two of wands, the two of swords, there's things that are back and forth here. And I feel like this two of swords is, is also um, the blind spot here. We have the seven of swords as well. The death in reverse. So um, I feel this is really the just kind of confirming here the same thing. The two of swords with the seven of swords here. This feels kind of like going down a back road within the mind. It's sort of like having, to, it, it's sort of like this energy here, what I'm picking up on or what I'm hearing is avoidance of something. And for some of you, you have been avoiding the truth of something. Um, I will say, I feel like you have been avoiding the truth of something for some of you. And this feels like having to it's like when you, when you try to find that deep perspective, like we had here, you have to really find that within you. And I think that you, you are moving through a time where you will be moving through a time where the answers are not quite clear to you. And it, I think it's a lesson that spirit's giving you. Um, and again, that's why we have here, not the right time for some of you, it might be about a fire sign person, a Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries. But for others of you, this is just you. You are emerging into the King of Wands, which is a visionary, 
which is somebody very um, assertive, very successful, very much of a leader here taking action. So you're going to be coming out of this into, uh, you're going to be coming out of this in a way where you're going to be taking charge. You're going to be taking a position of authority, a position of, of a leader here, but you have to, with the two of wands in reverse, you may have to make a, a choice or a detour here, but now is not the right time because of what came through here. Uh, and for those of you who this is about a person, you're going to be finding a new perspective about the situation. You're going to be seeing things more clearly. You're going to be seeing things in a much more clear light here, but you may have to illuminate where that dark spot has been for you. So having to, um, um, make the right choice here for you. So let's go into the tea leaf cards here and see any specifics that are coming in for you, Taurus. And I think here with your dreams in a practical plan and the King of Wands, this is somebody who um, I wouldn't say is necessarily practical, but I think the King of Wands has both. He has a spirituality. Um, he has the practicality. It doesn't have to be a he, but I'm just using that as an example. So this is about following the vision here of your intuition here with the moon as well and making um, a step forward into your goals. I think a lot of you are going to be reaching that that point, but it may not come as quickly as you want. It's within your reach. It's within your grasp. So it's like you can see it, but you're not quite there yet. So what's coming in for Taurus in the spring? What is the um, forecast? Psychic ability, trust your intuition. So see, we have trust your intuition twice. We have, what was it here? Your intuition is precisely accurate. And I think that's what the this is about here. You have to trust what you feel. You have to trust your intuition. Some of you have been blocking the truth. You've been blocking your intuition. And that's when you're going to find, um, that's when you're going to have to find that answer. So you will, you, you're the only one who knows the truth. What's coming in for Taurus in, um, I just heard February, maybe something happened in February. What's coming in for Taurus in the spring? Spring forecast for Taurus. So I did see this twice. We have secret admirer. So there could be somebody who is um, perhaps secretly admiring you, or you could be secret ad secretly admiring them. Could be a fire sign. Could be a king of wands. Doesn't have to be fire, but it could be somebody who does want to take action towards you. But that could be part of what this is. For some of you, I'm picking up the story that you have maybe a connection here in your life, or maybe you don't know them yet. I'm not sure. But you are having to let go of the outcome because there's too much clouding the truth. And until you are able to just let, let, let that go, you're actually resisting it yourself, if that makes sense. We have period of frustration, lessons to be learned. Yeah, so it's going to be a little bit of a period of frustration for you. And I think you've probably been already going through this. We have success assured with good plans and hard work. Yep. So there's going to be success assured with good plans and hard work. And that's part of it too. You're going to have to outline what you want. You're going to have to put in the dedication, put in the work here. But you'll know when that time is right for you. We have, you will be playing a different role. I think that's what the King of Wands here too. Some of you are going to be stepping into a new role that you have not had yet, or you're going to be just opening up the, like opening up the road for, for the future for yourself. And this could require you to step into a new role. And this might be a preparation stage for you right now. Successful outcome to your problems. This came through for Pisces too. And we have fear, worries, and tense situations. Um, I think that's just what, you know, where you've been here. There's something in August coming through as well. So 
Let's see any final messages for Taurus. So what is coming in for Taurus? In the spring, what's coming in for Taurus in the spring months? Wow, look at that. You will be shown the way. So that's that lantern that I was visualizing earlier. You will be shown the way. You're going to be given a path that's going to show the way for you. Um, new opportunities, possibilities, and paths are opening up. Yes, so you have a new path opening up for you. There's um, For some of you, this is going to be in, in regards to love too. We have love. We have a distant friend is thinking about you. And we have time to act. See, we have here the King of Wands. So just to kind of finalize here the message for you, Taurus, I think I'm getting two different things. For some of you in the spring months here, there's going to be somebody who um, uh, potentially is a Leo. doesn't have to be, but could be a Leo who is going to want to take action towards you. This person has been admiring you from afar, or maybe you have a distance between you. It could be long distance or just emotional distance. And you are being asked to let go of the outcome with that because there's been a delay for a reason. There's been a delay with this person for a reason because of, you know, the things that we had picked up on earlier. Maybe you have had to find your own inner peace. There's been more healing that had to be done here. There's somebody that's going to be very assertive, though. For those of you in this group, that's going to want to take action towards you here. And this is going to be the new opportunity that's going to open up here within love for you. Some of you may not know who they are, and maybe this is new love coming in for you. And this person, I'm just noticing we have the key here, and we have the key here. So there's a key that's going to be unlocked for you, and it's going to it's going to it's going to come in the form of taking action on for some of you from somebody else's end. They're going to take action towards you, and this is going to show you what you've been waiting for. It's going to be the illumination of what you've been what you've been waiting for here. Okay, a new door opening up. For others of you, this is you. And after you kind of go through this, after you go through the things that we had seen here earlier, having to go through your shadows, having to go through finding the peace within yourself, um, the answers that you need are coming, you are going to be outlining a new path for yourself and you're going to be taking on the role of a leader. You're going to be having a new um, opportunity for you. It could be a, a brand new job or you're just going to be having a promotion or something's going to be elevating for you. And you're going to be taking on the role of kind of like a responsibility, but you're going to be very assertive with this. You're going to be very successful with this. And this is going to require you to have a lot of hard work put into this, but it's going to grow into something really great in the future for you. And this is going to be a new opportunity opening up and, and it could be the cherry on top will be love here too. Okay, and some of you might, this, this still might be somebody from a distance that you're opening up to or new love is what I'm getting. So yeah, I hope this could help you, Taurus. I hope this could give you some clarity for the spring, what's to come for you. Um, have a great rest of the day and I will talk to you next time. Much love.